Welcome to this week's edition of Derby Business TV News. My name is Neil Lewis and today we are with the team from Grant Thornton learning about the region's top 200 high growth companies. We're going to be interviewing the, uh, the partner from Grant Thornton who's compiled this report and other business leaders including the number one company for the East Midlands. Uh, great to hear they come from Derbyshire. It's about celebrating fantastic achievements um, of the companies that are on our list in the current year. Recognising what a great contribution they've made, not only to our regional economy, but also to the, to the national economy. Um, over the period that we looked at, <clears throat> the UK economy um, grew on average by 1.4% per year. And bear in mind that during that time, we were the fastest growing developed economy in, in, the, in the world. Compare that to an average rate of profit growth for the companies on the list over the same period of 22% per year and you get some sense of just how well companies on the East Midlands top 200 have done. Uh, we were in a period where, where everybody was a bit doom and gloom, we didn't know what was, what was happening in the, in the, in the economy um, and yet there was a number of our clients explaining to us actually you know, don't tell anybody but we're actually doing reasonably okay. Um, and we wanted to have a look at you know, how that was reflected across the, the, the region more generally um, and also to, to then, having done that, to celebrate it a little bit. So to have an event which said, actually, you know, we, we have got some fantastic companies in this region who are doing really well. Well, first of all, it was quite a surprise when I arrived this morning. But, I mean, it, it's, it validates what we're doing. It's really great for the uh, staff to be, um, you know, they're all local. So to be named the local top company is something to be very proud of. And it, it really helps with recruitment locally. And that's very important. To be seen as a, as a fast-growing company, one that's recognised, helps us recruit um, staff. And we're, we're recruiting all the time. So it's very important. Well, I think it shows that the East Midlands is a vibrant and eclectic economy and it's worth relocating. I think, I think you're right. George Osborne has talked about the growth corridor. Actually, it was Mark Carney who talks about the bellwether for the UK and, Cameron in, um, and David Cameron in January talked about Nottingham being the fastest firing city. So actually what we're seeing is that the East Midlands is being singled out uh, by, these, uh, by these senior politicians and by the governor as a place where business really can thrive and grow. And I think today's report demonstrates that completely. You would have heard a lot of the commentary around the UK economy which is that we've had an extremely strong um, job um, employment growth, job creation um, over the last few years, but this has come at the expense of um, the so-called productivity puzzle, so we've grown jobs but we haven't grown output as much. Um, but ultimately, the biggest determinant of a family's living standards is whether or not they're in work. So the fact that people in this region are creating so many jobs and investing in career paths, like Ed was saying, and increasing their rate of apprenticeships, as Phil was telling us about, is extremely welcome in terms of unlocking those long-term opportunities for people. So the companies on the list have generated incremental jobs, so net new jobs, at a rate of approximately 7% per year during the three-year period. Uh, and that amounts to new jobs of over 29,000 during the three years, which is, again, fantastic, obviously, for, for, the, for the local economy. 